Hi everybody, I'm sorry I'm late. Hello, Hannah. Oh, my hair is super naughty. Um, so I was removing that gel manicure that I had on and that's why I'm late <laughs> because I'm still kind of removing it. So I'm just gonna finish it on the live. But it's almost all completely off. Hey, Kelsey. I miss you guys. It's been like a really long time, over three weeks. Hello, Kuzaya. Oh, hi, Lauren. The Wallace sisters. Guys, these nails are like talons. They're so crazy. Hey, Rebecca. Tamara. Karina, hello. Um, so I'm still soaking in a little bit of acetone because this last gel isn't off totally. Peyton, Nicole, Juliana, Ariana. Um, so I posted a couple of pictures on the Manny Fam um, Insta story. And I think I'm gonna do this tonight. It's like a peach. It's called Young, Wild, and Freesia. It's so, so pretty. I put a little swatch on um, on the Manny Fam Insta story, and I don't know. I was really feeling it. I kind of, I kind of originally wanted to do something a little darker, like a fuchsia or a hot pink, but um, I kind of like that better. Um, no, I'm not going to be doing these regularly on Wednesday. I still don't know when I want to do them. I'm going to start doing live Manny's once or twice a month. Um, but not every single week. Thanks, my shirt's from TJ Maxx, I think. La Belle Emerald Green Pretty. It has been a while, it's been so long. Oh, hey, Hannah. That's awesome, I'm so glad you made it. Um, so yeah, I'm still just, I'm soaking a little bit in acetone. I actually used my gel remover clips earlier, but I ran out of time. Like, so they soaked for probably like 20 minutes, but they needed a little bit longer, so. I took them off, scraped as much as I could off, and now we're just getting down to the nitty gritty. Hi, Annika. We're almost there. What are you creating with nails? Nothing crazy, I am not. Oh, do you mean like tonight? Or are you referring to? I am gonna talk about what I'm creating, actually, a little bit tonight because I'm so excited about it and I kinda want your guys' input. It's sort of why I've been a little MIA because I've been working on a very exciting project. I'm so excited to do these nails tonight though because literally the last live I did the week of my birthday, I think we did it the 15th or the 16th, um, that manicure held up until today. I probably could have gone a little longer too, but that's a long time. They were super grown out. So yeah, let me know um, what color you guys are doing tonight. This is again what I think I'm going with. What I'm feeling. Ooh, Nicole, you may have just hit the nail on the head. <laughs> My buckies. My nail, a couple of them are splitting at the very top, and I think it's the splitting that's like finally growing out. So by the next manicure, I think I should be in the clear. It should be all gone, but they really are in pretty good shape. I'm very, very impressed. The gel, man, the only way I can really get my nails to grow super, super long is when I put gel on them because they just are so much stronger. Hi, Isabel. I think we still have a couple trickling in. I'm glad you guys were free on a Wednesday. That was definitely, there were actually a lot of votes for every day of the week. Um, but Wednesday won just by like a tiny smidge, so. In the future, I've gotta figure out what days to do lives. I definitely wanna keep doing them somewhat regularly. Like I mentioned before, once or twice a month. A bunch of you guys did your nails already this week. That's okay. 
Oh, yes, I am finally making something. I'm so excited. When I do my nails, they're always peeling and cracking by day three. I use regular nail polish. It's not always the nail polish that makes them crack. Like the nails themselves are cracking or the polish is cracking. Yay, Nicole, that's awesome. Oh my God, you guys are all gonna have like the nicest nails. Hey, Stephanie. <laughs> You're free, the in-laws left. Unwind. You know, I kind of, Hannah, I like the idea of Sunday manis because like they're ready for the week. Um, you know, a fresh mani to kick off the week. I love that idea. Um, and maybe I will, maybe I'll do like one or two Sundays a month. If you guys think that's a good idea, obviously I want you to be able to attend. I'm just trying to figure out what's going to work best for my schedule and your schedule. Okay. These are almost ready to go. Thanks Rebecca. I think this is going to be a really good color. I hope so. I swatched it on top of the strike a posy, which I was wearing. So it, um, it looked a little more opaque than I think it normally is, but I'm going to do another swatch really quick just to see what, like one or two coats would look like on bare nails. It's hard to swatch gel because you can't really put two coats on. Snacks, okay, yeah, let's talk snacks really quick. My nails and the polish that crack and should by day three. I'm gonna revisit that question once again. I have no snacks. I kind of thought about baking cookies, but I just have this Arizona green tea, iced green tea. Very boring. Ooh, Tori, uh, send me a picture. I almost did lilac on my toes today, like a lavender lilac. This I think is gonna be tonight's color, but ugh. it's super sheer. I don't wanna see the white of my nail. I think two coats will cover it. I don't know, it might have to be a three coater. Or maybe I'll do a light pink underneath it or a white underneath it. Emperor light and blueberry wine. Ooh. They did, they got so, so long. And that's why I kind of want to do gel again because I really want to keep them long. I feel like when they get to, like this is pretty much as long as I can go. I don't think I could go much longer than this. Um, but when they're all long and none of them break, I want to kind of keep it that way for a bit. And then, and then I'll probably chop them all up and start fresh again. But right now they're in pretty good shape. I think I'm going to do like a light pink underneath that just to make it really pop. Cause it is a little sheer. All right. You guys almost ready? Yeah. I do want to do a gel overlay video. There are some, like there is a little example in a couple of the lives, but I should do one dedicated to that specifically. <laughs> it's okay to file them down. I, I actually filed mine down a little tiny bit and reshaped them last night. They were really long and like super like round, like a little too round. And I like them a little more like oval almond. Um, so I like kind of pointed them up a tiny bit. I think they're good. I might file just a smidge more. My sister's birthday shower. I have this pretty, ooh, I love a good mauve. Do you do gel overlay with soak off gel? Yes. Sally Hansen nail rehab on my nails. How do you like that, Annika? I haven't tried, but you know, I love my Sally. Um, for, the, for the girl before who had asked about her splitting, cracking nails, and you said it was the nail and the polish. The nail is probably splitting because you're filing back and forth. That's when I find that I split my nails um, is if I file back and forth like a little too harshly. And if my nail polish begins to chip and then I continue to use my nails, I find that they peel and split. But um, the polish, that I'm not sure why. I would chop it up to the, the uh, top coat what top coat were you using? Because if you have a, a decent top coat, that should like hold everything together, even if the polish is kind of junky. At least in my experience, that's what I've found. I should probably be using my glass file right now, but I, I kind of 
misplaced it. The Essie Top Coat. The, um, the Gel Setter or a different one? I feel like the Gel Setter is so, so good. Regular. I would try the Gel Setter or INM Out the Door. Those two literally give me the best, best manicures. They last forever. What is a gel overlay? A gel overlay is when you put gel polish on your bare nails, like clear gel polish, and then put regular polish on top. And so it's basically like an overlay on your nails. It helps keep them strong, prevents them from breaking, um, without doing a full-blown gel manicure. I'm just shaping these up a tiny bit more. They're really in pretty good shape, but once all the polish is off, you can kind of see what you're working with. This darn ring light. I want to do a live during the day so I don't need this artificial light because it gets so hot in here. No problem, Wallace sisters. I do need to make a video on that because I do get asked that a lot and I do do that a lot. So how is everybody? How's everyone been? How is your life? Everything is starting to resume. We're in phase two of our reopening right now. So Connecticut is slowly opening back up and we um we actually are seeing like a really nice decline in covid and hospitalizations are are down i think yesterday was the first day there were no deaths in connecticut so i'm very proud of our state there's not usually too much to be proud of at, in connecticut but except our basketball teams um so that's exciting but it's a little scary what's happening around the country Can't say the same. Texas looks a little crazy, huh, Vivian? Hey, Angie. Florida is a hot spot. Yeah, it's nuts. It looks, honestly, when you look at the map, anytime they put it on the news, it's like the whole southern half of the country is now now getting hit. Maybe it, like, is just finally making its way there. Mandatory to fa wear face masks in North Carolina. It's been mandatory to wear face masks here, and I didn't realize that it wasn't everywhere. So everyone who's like complaining about the masks now, I didn't realize it was a new mandate. Um, the masks definitely kind of stink, but what are you going to do? It's not the end of the world. They're a little uncomfortable. I feel worse for the people who have to wear them, you know, every day at their job. Thanks, Vivian. I always try to throw a headband in because my hair gets in my nails when I paint them and it drives me nuts. <laughs> How long have you been doing your own nails? Oh gosh, forever, honestly. I started to really, really get into them in like the seventh grade. So I think that's like 13. Um, and then, yeah, I've just been doing them ever since. I, I can probably tell you since high school, I can count on one hand the amount of times I've been to a salon to get my nails done. I'm always unhappy when I go. I'll go and get my toes done, but not my nails. I prefer to do them myself. My um, middle finger nail is like still a little round. I think that looks pretty good. It's so hard to file your nails just right. I'm wearing a new lipstick today, actually. I got a package from Maybelline um, in June with a bunch of like colorful products for Pride Month. So I actually just pulled this out today because I filmed a video earlier and I wanted a dark lip. Let me grab it real quick and then I'll actually grab the polish I'm gonna use too. This is the lipstick, and then what did I use last week? Strike a posy? I think I'm gonna do this underneath. So, this is a Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Lover 15. Taylor Swift vibes. Um, yeah, it's fun. It's a little sticky though polish that you featured in your video today oh on um like on my youtube video the opi polishes or on instagram on or in that opi unboxing i did the strawberry margarita on my toes today that's a really awkward <laughs> angle do you wear makeup going outside anymore um, I wear makeup almost every day, like even just a little bit, but 
not really much. I do like to just either put a BB cream on and a little bronzer. Um, but the mask, my masks are like covered in bronzer. It's kind of nice though wearing the mask because you don't feel like you really have to wear makeup. There have definitely been times I've like rolled out of bed just thrown my mask on and gone to the grocery store or something. The strawberry margarita is awesome. I kind of wanted to do that on my nails today, but I don't know. I'm really feeling this peach for some reason. Um, the girl who just asked about YouTube, I missed the name, um, but you had just started your channel. I've been on YouTube since, I think I started my channel in, well, I started my channel a while ago, but I started uploading videos regularly in, I want to say 2016. Um, and yeah. The masks as an accessory, that's so true. And I need some cute ones. Old Navy had a bunch of cute ones. My boyfriend's sister told me to check them out and they had a ton. I think they were out of stock. I ordered like a pastel set, but I do want to get a couple more because now that we're going to be wearing them for a bit, let me know if you've found any cute washable like cloth masks and where. They are the hot ticket item this year. My nails are where we can thin, but I can't read fast enough. Oh, Pink Lily is selling some. Thick and harder to breathe in. Oh, that's disappointing. Luckily, I haven't had to wear a mask for an extended period of time yet. Like I just wear them running into the grocery store or, you know, if I go to, I don't know, Walmart or something. That's really the only like stores I go in. Thank you, Annika. but I feel bad for the people who have to wear them like every day. Etsy, how do you feel about wearing dark nail colors in the summer and bright in the winter? Honestly, I, I do. It all depends on my mood. If I wanna wear a light color or a bright color in the winter, I will. One of my best friends got married in March and I wore hot pink nails to her wedding. And then sometimes in the summer, I'll literally do like black nails if I feel like it. It's all what you're in the mood for. I loved that manicure that we did together last time. That strike a posy, it was so pretty. And I'm kind of like sold on the lighter nails right now. They just match everything. I was tempted to do it again, but I have to switch it up. <laughs> All right, we are almost done filing. Sorry, this is like turning into a longer live. Talk a couple. All right. We, I think, are just about ready. Hi, Laura. Forever Maryland Classic Red Let's Nail Tool. Aw, oh, thank you. That was such a pretty polish. I love those red nails. My nails were so short in that video, though. I, I would say on average I do my nails once a week. Hey, Casey. But, um... Sometimes my gels last really nice. They hold up really, really well. So I'll just push it. Like that last manicure was over three weeks. Okay, so tonight we are doing, let me move everything out of the way. Get it situated. I am so clearly unprepared. Okay, I have some water here. I'm just gonna quickly rinse them to get all of this like acetone off. Hi, Caitlin. Okay, so tonight we are doing, this is the color I really want to do, Young, Wild, and Freesia from Jellish. It's not as like orange as it looks here. It's really like a true pinky peach. Whoops. But it's a little sheer, so I think I'm going to do one coat of Strike a Posy underneath it um, just to help it pop because I really loved how that looked on my swatch earlier today. So I'm either going to do one coat of Strike a Posy and two coats of this or one coat and one coat. We'll see. Nail decals. Um, a long time ago, I remember having like some fun stickers. I know they are so, so long. They're crazy. I love them though. Um, where's my little headband or my hair tie? My hair is like super bothering me today. All right, give me one sec. I'm just gonna put it up in a scrunchie. I can't find one, but I'll 
use this. It's just so hot in here. Thank you, Laura. I love them. I'm very excited about them. That they're so long, but... I, I really didn't care for the ASP dip, personally. I know some people really like it, but it wasn't wasn't really my jam. My Manny lasted till today. Like, I just finished removing it now. I was shocked. So I want to start doing vlogs. Um, if you follow me on my personal Instagram, at underscore Amanda Bella, I have been teasing something really, really exciting. I am actually creating my first product, my first beauty product that I'm gonna be literally designing on my own, like creating, mixing, um, and it is nail related. I haven't said exactly what it is, someone guessed it before. It's something that I've always, always, always wanted to do. Something that I'm very passionate about, that I talk about, that I'm very particular about. So I thought, why not just make my own? Um, so I actually started filming a few vlog clips to kind of document the process. Um, and yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing that, I definitely would love to put that together. I was going to do a couple anyway, but I think it's interesting to, to just see the behind the scenes of stuff like that. Annika, ding, ding, ding. Yes, I'm just going to tell you because I don't really care. I am creating my very own cuticle oil. So you guys know I love my cuticle oils. I am so, so particular about them. I like swear by the Sally Hansen vitamin E. That is my all-time favorite. Um, I actually do really like this one too, the Gelish Nourish, wherever it is here. But I want to make my own. I want to make like, I want to make one that I love the smell. I love the consistency. I love you know, the wear, the wear time. Um, I'm reading all your things. Oh my God, you guys are so cute. Annika, you are good. So I thought that would be the perfect place to start because it's just a natural fit. Um, I'm trying to make it completely organic. I want to make it vegan. I'd love to make it nut free if possible. So right now I'm, I'm like exper uh, experimenting with a bunch of different oil blends and kind of mixing and matching to create my perfect mixture. So it's really exciting. I'm shooting for a fall launch, uh, hopefully sooner if possible. Hey, Soph. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. I'm so excited. I wish I need to like stop and read these because these are so cool. Um, I'm glad you guys are excited too. But I want it to be, it's like a true labor of love. This is a passion project of mine. It's something I've been talking about for years, creating a cuticle oil. Hey, Ice Bear. <laughs> um, and now it's like kind of coming to life. It's really, really exciting. So I'm excited about it. It was something that I decided to finally do during quarantine because it just gave me like the push. No worries if you're late. You guys are welcome anytime. Hey, Nicole. They're not gonna be on Wednesdays regularly. I might do another, I might do another Wednesday, but just this week I had you guys vote. Um, yeah, there's gonna be there's so much going on. I'm a little overwhelmed right now. Okay, so that's what I kind of want, your help with the packaging and everything. Oh, that's awesome. I want your suggestions and what you really love. I'm really particular about my oils and the bottle size and shape and how to apply it. So I know what I like, but I want to know what you guys like too. I kind of want to do like an FAQ video or something so maybe if you have any questions related to the cuticle oil, leave them just in this chat now. I'm gonna go back through after the live and read everything. Most people use bottle and pen. I like the pens too, but sometimes they jam up, which, which drives me nuts. I do love a dropper if it's a mini dropper. Um, and I also really like a brush, like a good brush. I do not like roller balls at all. I don't like, um, I don't really care for balms. It's gonna be a true oil. It's not gonna be like a balm. You like a brush. And then I was thinking I might do a couple different packaging options too. So maybe I'll do a pen and a brush or um, a pen and a dropper. It's all still kind of in the work. So nothing is officially set in stone and I'm still working on the formula. That is the most important part to me. I want the absolute best formula. I'm so excited. I'm really excited and I'm glad you guys are excited too. I like the Sally Hansen bottle too. Yes. Oh, that's a good idea. I can paint up here. 
My initial thought was to do a brush because that's what I really like as well. This chair is like squeaking. I like brushes too. We'll see, it's all, that's what I'm definitely leaning towards, but I'm really excited. I'm really, really, really excited. So I was working on that today actually. Um, it's definitely a process and I wanna do it right. I don't wanna just like slap my name on some junk. <laughs> if I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it good. Feels so good to do a fresh manicure right now. You have no idea. <laughs> All right, your input is already so helpful. Now, when it comes to oils, do you guys like really oily consistency or like something that's a little bit thicker? I like something a little thicker. I don't like it to be super oily. I know some people love that though, but I like to use my oils um, throughout the day. I know some people like to use them, you know, just right after a manicure, but I like to be able to put mine on multiple times a day so I can't have it be making a huge mess. No worries, thicker, thicker, thicker. Cool. We're on the same page. See, I can trust you guys. You know what's up. You know what's up. I'm definitely trying to get a nice thick oil. And I kind of want to do some good scents too. I would love to do a couple different scents, but we'll see. Maybe a balm in the future. Maybe a um, hand cream in the future. Those are two other products that I have in mind. But to start, I've just, I'm so passionate about cuticle oil. I always have been. I'm so excited about this one. So we're putting all of our energy into this right now. But totally down the line, I could see some other, some other um, cuticle products being offered as well. But it's kind of a lot of work to like actually create your own product. I'm not just like buying something that's already made and slapping my name on it. I'm really trying to do it right. Like do a custom formula. Sorry, this base coat is taking forever. I'm just trying to get it. Thank you. What scent? Um, I don't know yet exactly, but I love, I love like fruity scents. I love pineapple. I love coconut. Um, I like sometimes some minty scents. I don't know, but I might do it seasonally. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. It's all still, I have to like nail down the formula first. The scent is on, actually honestly the easiest part. Peach, ooh, that would be good. Or like watermelon, vanilla, fruity and citrusy. That's usually what I'm, I'm drawn to as well. It, oh, it's gonna be so fun. But yeah, I really wanna include you guys like throughout the whole process because yeah, seasonally for sure. Because then you could do like different lines, like a holiday scent or like a, pumpkin spice scent. I don't know. My teeth look really white when the UV light is on. <laughs> Watermelon could be good. Hi, Amanda. I'm good. How are you? Do you hear Dan yelling? <laughs> oh boy. Lemon lime. Mm. Oh my God. This is making me want a cocktail or something. <laughs> gonna be fine. I'm very, very, very excited. Mm. Flower scents. There's so many delicious flowers. I like gardenia scent. Um, I don't know. Like the options are endless. I'm really looking forward to this. So yeah, that's kind of where I've been <laughs> working on that. Is anyone following the Shane Doss? Oh my God, Annika. So I filmed a petty today and I just was kind of rambling about like random drama that I've been keeping up on and the Shane Dawson story was one of them. I don't follow any of them regularly. Like I don't really know what's going on in their lives, but it was all over the news. Like you could not ignore it. So I, I went down like a little bit of a rabbit hole last week and watched Tati's video. Anyone else like watching all this mess? And then I got... I ended up on Trisha's page and anytime I end up on Trisha's page, it's like, that's the true black hole right there. <laughs> I just like will watch her stuff forever. I end up watching like all her mook mookbangs and get so hungry. It's a mess. The whole thing is such a mess. 
Um, again, I'm doing a coat of Strike a Posy again, and then I'm going to top it with the other one. I always really like Tati, but there's so many different, I don't know, everyone has such a different opinion about who's right and who's wrong, and I don't know who to believe. I think they're all crazy. Carmageddon. I think they're all nuts. I think it's actually really sad that that's what, like, YouTube has become, in a sense. Like, I don't know, people just will do anything for views. It's awful. It's awful. I just can't imagine, like, actually living my life that way. Smith family. Oh, yes, yes, because of that, like, disgusting incident with the movie poster or whatever. Yeah, that's, that's bad. I think Shane Dawson might be done. He might be done for good, which I was never really a fan of him. I... I didn't even know about him until a couple years ago when he did a video with Blair Fowler because I used to watch her and Elle's videos, so I'm still subscribed to them. And he did like a my first crush, like confronting my first crush or something. And, um, and that's where I kind of learned about him, but I don't know, I'm not, I'm not into that whole scene. The crazy beauty community, it's definitely crazy. I like the people that just stay out of all the mess. Um, but that whole, normally stick with the darker colors. Ah. If I wasn't doing a live, I can do my nails in, if it's a gel, about 30 minutes. If it's a regular manicure, probably like 15, 20. Yeah, they definitely take longer on the live though. I hope these come out okay. I'm glad about Ellen Blair too. That's so funny. I love that we all watch like the same, or we did watch the same YouTubers. And Blair like went back to college. I'm happy for her. They hit it when YouTube was like in its prime. Okay, we are almost done with this coat. I'm hoping I can get away with just one coat of Strike a Posy. I think I will be able to. Oh, I already feel like a new woman with these nails. The other ones, they looked so good, but they were just so grown out. All right, in we go. Oh, I just, I missed your comments. I'm doing gel, it takes a while because I have a lamp that's very small. Honestly, I think my lamp goes way too long. Like I need a, I need a lamp that cures a little bit quicker. I just heard about the Charlie D'Amelio drama this morning. I, does anyone else listen to the Morning Toast, the podcast? They covered it and that's like the first I had heard about it. Um, and then the whole Micah Stauffer thing. I had no idea who she was either, but that was like over a month ago at this point. But did anyone follow that? Talk about drama. How do you make the website? What website? <laughs> Thank you. I actually, I put on like real makeup today. <laughs> My skin has been a little bit of a mess though. I don't really know why. My lamp is very, very old. I agree with you on the Micah style. I had no idea who she was. No idea who she was, no idea what she did, but that whole situation makes me so sick. And that little boy was so cute. Poor Huxley. And then the whole Jeffrey Epstein stuff and the Ghislaine, Ghislaine, Ghislaine? I have no idea how to say her name, been following that too. We just finished watching the Jeffrey Epstein documentary tonight. We had one episode left. Shit's crazy. I remember watching a Shane video actually about, um, Chuck E. Cheese pizzas or something. Thank you. My headband is from TJ Maxx. And my shirt is from TJ Maxx. I'm just a walking, sitting Maxinista. <laughs> All right. So one coat of Strike a Posey and then I'm going to top it with this. Hopefully it works. We can get away with just two coats, but if I have to do three, I will. Let me 
should this be more? Yeah, if you can see, it's like a really pretty peach. I love it. I wore it once last May. If you had to pick your top favorite nail polish colors, what would you pick? Um, a light pink like this and a mauve. Overheated four months ago. Ah. Mommy Martha Kale Polish. Nice. Tiger Blossom. Oh my God, I always wanted to buy that color. I would always pick it up. Thanks, Rebecca. I did, um, I did film one today on my toes. <laughs> I do cap the edges when I do gel, yes. I try to do all the coats, but if I remember just the base and top, that's good enough for me. All right, so when I, when I put a color on top of a color, I just wanna make sure that, yeah, I love this, that none of the pink. Yes, I saw the the John Bonet thing, that picture. Sorry, I like I'm talking and then I read your comments. Um, I wanna make sure that none of the pink is showing through like on the side. So I'm gonna take a little bit more time applying this. Um, yeah, the Gazine, I don't know how to say her name, Galene, Gazine, whatever. She's sketchy and I hope she just cooperates and turns everybody in and they can all be charged and arrested and just rot in jail where they belong. It was the most disturbing documentary. I, it's like so upsetting that this actually happens and people in power allow it to happen. It's awful. Jellish Pink Sheer. I like Light Elegance. That's always been one of my favorite shears. It has a little bit of shimmer to it. Uh, Take Action is also another one that I used to use a lot. And then All American Beauty, it's a little bit more of a white though, but I like that as well. I think I might do a third coat of this. Not to be annoying, but I feel like I need a third. Oh, I love this color so much more, I think, than the first time I did it. 13, I don't. <laughs> What's going on in the 13-year-old world? <laughs> What's the, the drama down there? It's probably so much lighter. <laughs> yeah, you really don't want it. It's not even worth your energy, to be honest. I half the time don't even feel like it's worth my energy. It's just, you get so sucked into it. I got sucked into that. And then um, Rachel Hollis, a lot of people have been kind of exposing her post-divorce. I don't know if anyone was a big Rachel Hollis fan or not. I read her book back in 2018 and I actually didn't like it at all. <laughs> Girl, wash your face. I didn't enjoy it. Um, I think I actually, I did. I listened to the audio book and I didn't care for the way she was kind of like preaching to people about, I don't know. It was weird. I just didn't feel like her advice was really helpful. And her story, I mean, obviously that you can learn something from everyone, but just the way she met her husband and their relationship, it just didn't sound very healthy. Um, so I was never a huge fan of her, but she like skyrocketed over the past couple years and basically made her fortune giving marriage advice and then her marriage crumbled. <laughs> so I don't know. That's been an interesting saga too. Just listening to people unpack that whole story. Skinny Confidential. Um, I do need to give Skinny Confidential another shot. I have listened to her in the past, but. Are there any Carly Bible fans? Did you guys listen to her podcast with her sister, Amanda? I love Carly and I, I really like Amanda too. I listened to the first episode last week, but I haven't listened to their second episode yet. 
my favorite podcast. There's so many. I listen to the Morning Toast every day. I just love them. I think they're funny. Um, I listen to the Gary Vee Experience. I like his podcast. Once in a while, I'll listen to the Influencer Podcast. I like The Good Life by Stevie and Cezanne. Um, oh my gosh, once in a while, I listen to Bad Examples, Tracy DeMarco and Jess Hottie. They were from Lake Jersey Licious way back when, if anyone remembers that show. And what else do I listen to? I don't know. I'll listen to individual episodes a lot, but those are podcasts that I like, routinely listen to on a weekly basis. We'll say Candy and her experience in the military. I love that she was in a mil the military. That was such the drama with that poor girl. Vanessa was her name. So so sad. But um, Dual say speaking out is awesome. I love. I've loved her over the years. I've loved watching her just grow and become so confident and successful. It's really awesome. She's stunning too. One Tree Hill. I do want to give a shot. I would. I would try to get into that. Happy Hour with Rachel Lindsay and Beck Coffin or Coffin. All right, I don't know if I need, I don't know if I need a third coat. Part of me kind of wants to do one though. I think I'm gonna do a thin one. Off the Vine. I'm gonna do really thin. So quiet. Friday Night Lights. Everyone has said that. After watching Waco, I guess the guy, the main guy in Waco was the main character in Friday Night Lights. They're apparently completely different characters though, but um, I kind of want to see him in another role. Waco was crazy. That was a good watch. Oh my gosh, so much has happened in quarantine. I forget half the things I watch. This mania is gonna take. I'm really loving this color though, I'm so happy. Although my fingers are kind of red. The beginning of Waco. I didn't watch Han I did not watch Hamilton and no I would not vote for Kanye. <laughs> oh my god, how crazy is that? Like he is just something else. I um I saw Kim like retweet or repost his announcement. And then I saw an article today that said all the other like Kardashians spoke out about it, but I don't know what they said. I didn't read the article either, but anyone have like a quick, quick synopsis? Are they backing this madness or? I don't want to vote for anybody there. It's awful. The picks are absolutely terrible. We have no good options. I cannot believe out of this whole country, that's who we can scrounge up. <laughs> He missed the deadline in six days. Oh, I didn't realize that. What a mess. It's all such a mess. I can't even. I cannot even. But no, I, I can confidently say I will not vote for Kanye West for president. <laughs> Yellowstone. So Dan watched that last year and loved it. But he told me there were a couple like really violent scenes that I probably wouldn't. I will vote. I will vote. I always vote. I've never missed an election, but the choices definitely suck. I do use a pH bond. I did that before. Uh, my favorite Netflix shows that I watched this year, Sweet Magnolias for sure. That was probably my top. It was just the cutest, like feel good show. And during such a weird time in this world, um, Sweet Magnolias was like a really good escape. Friends, I love Friends. I watch Gilmore Girls and Gossip Girls like in the background often. 
Working moms. Lucifer. People say that a lot too. Ozark. Great Netflix show. Gilmore Girls. I should maybe try Yellowstone. I did not watch Hamilton, but I do want to watch it. It's on Disney Plus, right? Um, just because there's so much hype about it, I feel like I need to see it. Oh my gosh, we're watching Selling Sunset too. Um, Dan really likes that show because he likes all the houses, but the drama is just so ridiculous. <laughs> I hope they do too. Oh, Sweet Magnolia is like, it made me so, so happy. All right, Alexis, you've sold me. I'm going to give Hamilton a shot. Oh, Gossip Girl is so good. You know, Heart of Dixie, I started watching a couple of years ago and then just kind of fell off. But I might revisit that because I do love Rachel Bilson. Love her. She was really cute in that show. Plus, it was just a really cute show. Yeah, Selling Sunset is like the hills meets Vanderpump Rules, kind of. Meets Million Dollar Listing. Uh, Glee, I started watching the other day too, a couple weeks ago, just throwing that on. That's a fun show. Um, Ava asked why I took a couple weeks off. No particular reason. Um, I do want to, or I don't want to be doing uh, lives every single week just because it's kind of a lot. Um, so I'm trying to figure out a new schedule. I think I'm going to be doing like once or twice a month. Really pretty face masks on Amazon. Ooh, I'll check that out. Yeah, please send me a link. One Tree Hill. Um, yeah, Glee is so good. I'm still, I think, on season one, but the cheerleader is pregnant and what's his name's wife is like, I think grooming her to give her the baby if I'm getting it right. I just kind of put it on in the background. I'm trying to get back into reading like really trying because I love to read, but I definitely fell off of that too. I think I'm going to do every other week, like once, either once a month or two times a month. And maybe on Sunday nights, someone mentioned that and I would be down. I love doing my nails to like start the week off, but I'm going to try to figure out what's going to be best and then I'll put it out to a vote because I want to do whatever's best for most of you guys. What's my favorite genre of what? Of TV show or music? I kind of like Sunday nights too. All right, we are almost done with this hand. I should have done my left hand second, but. Sunday afternoons, Friday night. The only thing is that, at least with Friday night, like I never know if I'm gonna be home for sure. Like I'm usually home later Sunday nights. Oh, darn, I'm usually home like every weeknight, but Friday and Saturdays are a little touchy. Um, favorite genre of book? I like, no, I don't wanna, definitely kind of thrillers. I suppose it would be like mystery thrillers, like Gone Girl type books, Girl on the Train kind of books. But I also like feel good love story books too. Um, right now I have the book Someone We Know, I think by Sherry LaPena. I read one of her um, books last year and really liked it. So I'm gonna start that. Dystopians, ooh, Hannah, send me like one of your favorites that I should check out. Favorite Molly Greenwald movie? Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of Molly, or wait, who was it? Did I read that wrong? I did read Behind Closed Doors, yes, yes. Love romance, love story books, yep. Did I, did you say Molly Ringwald? I totally, like my mind just read that and didn't process it. That was a good book. What else did I read that was really good? Um, 
I, I have them all written down in a note. I'm so bad. They're all very similar. The stories I like are all pretty much similar. Oh my god, The Secret Life of the American Teenager. That was so, so good. Freaking Ricky and what was her name? Shailene Woodley's character. Molly Ringwald? Is that who you were talking about? I liked Sixteen Candles, I guess. The Giver. I remember reading that in high school. Okay, this hand is done. The Maze Runner. I've heard that's really good too, actually. See, I've like heard of all of these. I need to just read them. I feel so much more productive when I read a book versus when I watch a TV show or when I watch like YouTube. Oh, Shailene Woodley's adorable. That's a compliment. All right, guys, I'm kind of in love with these nails. They're really simple, like nothing crazy, but I really like them. <laughs> I really didn't like Love is Blind. <laughs> it's okay if you didn't like Love is Blind. Normally, I cannot stand shows like that, like at all, in the least bit. I think they're the weirdest, like, oh, any kind of competition, like The Bachelor, I cannot stand. I'm, I just don't get into it. But for whatever reason, I'm going to blame it on, no, I watched that before quarantine. Um, for whatever reason, I really liked Love is Blind. Yeah, The Secret Life of the American Teenager was so cheesy, but so, so good. Oh, Amy, that was her name. Amy and Ricky, and then her sister Ashley, and her dad George. Oh my god, bring me back. I think that was like in college. I want to love The Bachelor or The Bachelorette for the mere fact that it's on so many nights a week. <laughs> and like, it gives you something to watch. I might actually watch the new one with, what's his name, Matt James? Because I really liked him. Thank you. I'm into the very natural nails lately. The Hamilton's YouTube channel. I do not know. Oh my, oh my God, Flavor of Love. When what's her name put the chicken in the microwave. Oh my God, Flavor of Love was where it was at. New York, Hoops. Um, pumpkin. Oh my God. Wow. That's really bringing me back. Actually. I totally forgot about that. Didn't it hoops like end up with like Shaquille O'Neal or something? Am I making that up? I feel like she did. Yeah. The bachelorette's like a little older. I like that too. Actually. The people that go on the show are so young, like so, so young. But hasn't she been on like a, a bunch of times? Not as the bachelorette, but like as a contestant and then on the paradise or whatever. I am not familiar with the whole bachelor nation at all, but just what I've heard from other sources. Red Dawn Flame, Flame with his clocks. Oh, and who was he in love with? Brid Brigitte Nielsen? It was so weird. What a weird, weird show. I totally forgot about that. And then they used to go on like the surreal life. Oh my God, TV used to be so different. Like so, so different. I remember when Jersey Shore first came out. I was a sophomore in college and we, we were like so excited. It was so funny at the beginning. And then that just got a little crazy too. Laguna. I could talk about Laguna forever. Laguna, like the premiere season was amazing. I loved, I loved the LC years. The Kristen years were okay. And then everything after that, I didn't care for. Oh my God, do you hear him yelling? That darn Call of Duty. He'll steal your boyfriend from you. Okay, 
let's get this in the light. My brother and I used to love the real world. I liked the real world at one point, like way back when. I watched a couple of seasons. And does anyone remember like, I think it was Sorority Life or Sorority World or something on MTV where they followed a few sorority girls. That show was so crazy. Jordan, I remember Jordan, Amanda, Candace, I think. Oh my God, the old days. Keeps, Pretty in Pink, Red Dawn, 16 Candles, Breakfast Club, Outsiders. I like um, Can't Buy Me Love. That's like one of my favorite 80s movies with Patrick Dempsey and the blonde. I forget her name. I love that one. Yeah, Laguna was the good old days. TV is just honestly not what it used to be. It really isn't. All right, I think we're good here. get this first coat cured. Adventures in Babysitting. Oh my God, I remember that. Where they were like in the auto body shop. That was, that movie gave me anxiety. I did hear they might ban TikTok, but I don't know what that's all about. TikTok is terrible, stay away. It's just China collecting data. I have heard that. But like, what are they collecting? Like all my food hacks? <laughs> I don't, I've realized I'm not creative enough for TikTok. Like I, some, these people are so creative. They come up with like the most amazing ideas and I just like learn hacks and reshare them. <laughs> Dawson's Creek. I never really got into that, but I totally would because I love what's his name. Um, not Dawson, but the blonde Joshua, Joshua Jackson. What time is it? Oh my God, it's already after nine. So sorry, guys. This is definitely running late. I was never allowed to have TikTok. I'm just a viewer. Like, I get sucked into it. And I'll just, like, watch it all night. Aw, thank you. I feel like I just i am not creative on TikTok. I gotta come up with something original. Ooh, lucky you. It's only eight. Lucky girls. Oh, I still haven't watched Little Fires. But that book I did read. Wow, you guys are all an hour behind. That is awesome. I'm a little jealous. Wow, almost everybody is eight o'clock. Not seven. Very jealous. Dang, wait. Start a little. Actually, no. I don't know if I could start earlier. <laughs> Charlie is so good. I could never keep up. Like, I can't dance to begin with, let alone, like, at Charlie's level. Six in Idaho. Oh, you guys are lucky. You're lucky. It's just, yeah, it, it just got dark out. Nine. We're on the same, we're in the same time zone. Let's see if this hand goes a little quicker. I'll be on. This live's gonna go a little longer. I apologize in advance. If you guys have to leave, feel free. I knew that would happen too. I wanted to wait till the very last minute to remove my old gel because I was scared I was gonna break a nail if I was walking around with bare nails. So I didn't start removing it until like 6.30 and it took a little longer than I had hoped. But it's all good. I have the Lauren Elena ladies in the 90s song stuck in my head. It's been stuck in my head all day long. Such a good song though. Super catchy. If you're looking for a really fun, like upbeat girly song, I sent it to my sister a couple weeks ago. I'm like, you'll love this. I love her music. Dan and I were just talking about concerts before. I'm like who we really want to see and how much we miss concerts. And I was saying, I want to see Lauren Elena, she's next on my list. <laughs> Thanks, 
Karina. Yeah, I, I don't know why I bother apologizing. I'm, I'm honestly not offended if you have to go. <laughs> it's all good. I'm not going to be stuffing my nails midway, so. <laughs> I'll be here, and if you want to hang out, that's even better. Only person I've seen in concert is Ariana Grande. That's a great concert. I would love to see her. I feel like she's a really good performer and she has so many hits. If you're painting your nails with me, let me know where you are, if you're done or if you're... Oh, lucky. I saw Carrie Underwood one time and she was so, so good. So good. And the whole time I just stared at her legs. <laughs> and I was like, I want to have Carrie Underwood's legs. Seven rings. I bet. I bet. I bet. I would like to see her. Oh, what is the one song? I love the way, the way. The song with, I think that's the Mac Miller song. Ooh, nice, Isabel. I'm shocked I... I got away from pink tonight. Oh, the pink car, yes. Thank you. TJ Maxx headband. Mommy Martha, love it. Send me pics, send me pics. Send them to at the Manny fam. It's easier to keep track of them there if you're on Instagram. Yeah, make sure you're following the Manny fam and you can follow my own Insta if you want. Billy Eilish tickets, oh my God. Oh, I'm so sorry it got canceled. That sucks. That really sucks. I feel so bad for everyone who's like looking forward to trips and concerts and events. Cheyenne, a Spanish singer. Cuban. Marnia. Nice. Concerts are so fun. That's probably one of the biggest things I miss from this year. Like, obviously, travel is nice, but concerts are just like, oh, something to do, something to look forward to. I love, love concerts, so that's a bummer. Do you buy brand new nail polishes? Sometimes. Sometimes I do. I haven't bought nail polish in a while. Actually, I bought that dollar store polish a few weeks ago. Oh, she missed Cher. That's probably such a good show. Um, I really want to see Celine Dion. A lot of people saw her in... She was touring at the beginning of the year. A lot of people saw her in New York and it looked like such a good show. I feel like that would be an epic concert to go to. That's a bucket list show for me for sure. Celine Dion was the first, I'm pretty sure that was the first CD I ever owned. Do you remember what your first CD was? If you're like old enough to have CDs. I'm pretty positive mine was Celine Dion. <laughs> Another giveaway. I gotta come up with one. I love giveaways. Probably soon, actually. Thank you. Shania Twain. Yes. Oh my God. I loved Shania. Her man, I feel like a woman CD. That was a jam, right? I think my mom had that one. Grace Vanderwall. Nice. I love that you remember. Olive and June Peachy Color. They came out this first summer. Yay. Peachy Colors are fun. I kind of overlook them. They don't always come top or uh, like top of mine. They don't come to the top of my mind. Uh, when I'm picking a color, but today for some reason I just picked this one up. I was like, ooh. Selena Gomez was probably a great concert. I did see Justin Bieber. I took my sister and her friend a long time ago, like 2010, back when he was still, like pre-puberty, -pu pre he was still singing like, um, like Baby. It was so funny, we saw him in New Jersey. Yeah, I love concerts. Definitely bummed that 
we won't get to go to any this year, but I keep saying like if the rest of this year is canceled, that's fine as long as next year is not. No, I did not meet Justin Bieber. <laughs> I didn't meet Justin Bieber. I just went to his show. My sister met Sean Kingston though. He was his opener. All right, we are almost done with coat two of color. Hopefully this is okay. <laughs> Broadway isn't opening till 2021, so they, they gave up the rest of the year. They're better off, honestly. If you can afford to stay closed, for the rest of the year, I would probably advise it. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy. Um, because it's just, you don't know what's gonna happen. I just really hope next year we don't have like a second wave. I really don't. This is gonna be, it's gonna be interesting for sure. It's already crazy. Do you think if things get really bad in Florida, things will close down? I do. I think in some states they already did kind of start taking a few steps back. I just feel bad for all the actors and actresses that are just out of work right now. How long are we gonna wear masks? I don't know. I really, really don't know. I think it's gonna be like come fall, that's gonna tell a lot. It's not bad where I am in Panama City. Another year. I can't even believe it. It's so surreal when you go out and you just see everyone in a mask. I mean, it is what it is, but I think the fall, if we get another surge in the fall, that's going to be a sign of things to come. Um, I have been to Florida. I've been to Florida a bunch of times. I love Florida. Oklahoma, they just pass a law that they can fine you if you aren't wearing a mask. Wow, that's crazy. The kids going back to school is crazy because... I think Connecticut is planning to go back in the fall right now, and I just don't know how. I have no idea how they're going to get kids to wear masks. Tennessee, you need a mask. Yeah, Florida doesn't look great. Neither does Texas. The whole South, honestly, anytime I turn on the news, it's like all the states in red are this, like the bottom half of the country. Oh, I'm so sorry you have to wear a mask all day. I... Ugh. I give so much credit to anyone who has to deal with people and wear a mask all day long. Dan has to wear a mask at work. I, ugh, it just sounds so uncomfortable. Some people are able to, you know, get away without wearing one at work because they're not really interacting with people, but if you have to, that stinks. Oh no, at theater camp, you have to wear one? See, that I don't get. Like my gym opened back up, but you have to wear a mask. One of my friends who goes to the gym, she's been back a few times. I haven't gone back yet, and I really don't have any desire to. Um, but she said, you have to wear a mask 24-7 and during the classes. Like, the thought of, that just doesn't even seem safe. I get, like, hot and claustrophobic wearing it in the grocery store. I can't imagine wearing it during, like, a cardio class. I really can't. I don't know how people do that. I'm so tempted to just cancel my gym membership, to be honest. Because that's really, like, the last place I want to go. Like, if you're going to pick up Corona anywhere, it's going to be at the gym. In my opinion, I don't know. Daycare, you know, might open up. Oh, wow. Can't, like, isn't there a... Like a stipulation, kids under a certain age don't have to wear a mask. Is that true or am I making that up? I thought I read that somewhere. Rubber gloves. Rubber gloves actually like good for your nails, I think. It'll keep them protected. The hand washing is what's killing mine. <laughs> 10 and under, really 10 and under you don't have to. That's interesting. Okay, so all these kids are gonna go back to school 
and not have to wear a mask? Or they will? I'm assuming like most elementary students are under 10. I do, I feel bad for all the people who graduated this year or missed important milestones or couldn't celebrate with their friends and family. That's the toughest. Weddings, all of that. It's such, it's such an unfortunate situation. It really, really is, but my hands get really sweaty. Oh, in, in gloves. Mind you too, I don't like wearing gloves, but they do protect your nails if you look on the bright side. Ah, I have a little fuzz in here. All right, we're almost done. Darn it. Our school hasn't decided. Some states might do online learning. I have to say, I low-key... <laughs> love quarantine like I loved it I am such a homebody and I kind of have pretty le legitimate anxiety so having absolutely nothing to do for three months was like the most calming time ever like it was the most I was just so chill I don't know I like had no stress for a couple months it was amazing and now that everything started opening up like this past week I had, I don't know, three or four like social events to attend. And while I love, you know, seeing my friends and family and everybody, I had anxiety about going out again. I was like, oh my God, there's too much to do. Like it was just, it was all happening so fast and you know, things I wanted to do, certain things I didn't want to do, trying to accommodate everyone and please, every it just got to my head. And I was like, wow, I missed like not even having the option to do anything. Like, you know, it was just like, oh, sorry, we can't, we're all locked up. But I'm trying to get better about that. Um, because that's no fun, but it was, it was really nice. Yeah, I, I have like s definitely some social anxiety. Um, and it was nice to just have a permanent excuse and everybody had the same excuse, <laughs> but no, it is good that things are opening back up, but for sure I do feel a little different re-entering the world. <sighs> We're almost done. I have to do a top coat after this and then we are free. I'm so excited. 917. This is going to be a record live. I've diagnosed social anxiety. Yeah, I believe it. I bet if I got tested, I probably would too. <laughs> it's a very real thing. Oh boy. If you guys are still here and didn't like this video yet, go give it a little thumbs up. I see the little thumb click up top the little thumb whatever before we end all right top coat time do you know lovely peaches no i don't <laughs> all right here we go the end is in sight Can you hear Dan yelling or is, is it quiet enough? He's like yelling with all his friends. You guys who are hanging till the end, you are the real ones. Seriously. This is a legit. Manny was me <laughs> till the very end. I love quarantine. Um Thanks, Angie. So I think I might do another live. Maybe it won't be a Manny. It'll just be a dedicated like brainstorm session. And I'm going to pick some of your guys' brains about 
cuticle oil preferences um, and really like take notes. So I'll keep you posted on that, but I really, really appreciate your feedback. Bye Alexis, I'm so glad you made it too. I'm glad everybody was able to make it tonight on a Wednesday. We are almost done. Yeah, just for fun. The Zoom was fun. It was cute. My son was born in March. Oh, that's awesome. See, I feel like people with really young kids or newborns, like what a great time to be home. Like you got extra time with your babies that you really probably would have never otherwise had. It's so, so nice. I think that's awesome. Definitely a blessing in disguise. Okay, here we go. Last one, thank you for sharing my nails for the fourth. Oh, the fourth manis were really cute. I loved them. I kind of wanted to do one for the fourth and I thought about it, but that darn gel was still holding on. Um, it was still going strong and I figured I'd be like in the pool at the beach and the lake and my nails would probably get messed up So I put it off and figured I would schedule a live for this week. So here we are <laughs> I'm getting so tired You're welcome Sarah. Thanks for sharing it with me. I love when you guys share your mani I've got to get better about being on the Manny Fam account regularly, and my own account for that matter. I'm such an Instagram slacker. I get so like preoccupied and then I get in my head and then I have no idea what to post and then I just don't post. Instagram is not what it used to be. It used to be so much more fun and now it's like, it stresses me out. We are almost there. I'm so excited. Yeah, super happy with this choice, and I'm really happy with my, like, pointy nails. My mom was happy, but she has 12, and I have 14, 11, 12, 11. Aww. <laughs> my, parent, you gotta give parents credit. We drive them crazy. My mom, I probably drive her crazy. Still. But that's your job. <laughs> your parents love you no matter what. Oh my god, it's almost 9.30. I'm such an old lady. Have you guys ever taken Calm, like the magnesium supplement? It's like a powder um, that you put in a drink and you have it before bed. Hannah, I hear you on that with the Insta struggle. I started taking Calm. I mean, I've taken it on and off for years, but this past, like last week, I didn't sleep at all. I just was having an awful time sleeping, so I started taking it and it helps me fall asleep so, so well. If you have trouble sleeping, I highly recommend it. It's just like I put a little teaspoon in some warm water and it knocks you right out. No, it doesn't. It just makes you really tired. Okay, nails are done. I'm going to put some cuticle oil on it. I should probably use one of my samples, but it's in the other room and it's not really in usable condition. It's in like little containers. <laughs> These look awesome. I'm so happy. Blossom by Nina. I love that color. You have to send me a picture. One of my all-time favorite polishes. Nina, one of those underrated brands. They deserve so much more attention and recognition. All right. Happy, happy girl. Just wipe off the excess. Here we go. The final product love 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 this color this is young wild and freesia by jellish but there is one coat of strike a posy underneath i'm very very happy with it thank you thanks guys i can't wait to see all your manis too use my little clarence lotion thanks angie I'm very happy with this. I think this will be a good one and it'll probably last for a couple weeks. So let's plan on the next live being in like two weeks or so. I'll post details on the Manny fam again um, and have you guys vote there. They're so long, right? I don't think I could go much longer than this. This is a good length. They're still honestly even kind of long, but I love them. 
So yeah, stay tuned. Make sure you're following the Manny fam on Insta. If you're on Insta at the Manny fam, um, and subscribe to my channel if you're not, because I'm trying to get better about using the community tab there to post updates as well. If you want to follow me on my personal Insta, it's at underscore Amanda Bella. I don't post too much there, so don't feel obligated. Um, but there's so many exciting things coming up and I definitely want to keep picking your guys' brains about a lot of them. Uh, don't forget to send me a picture of your nails because I love to see them. Yeah, email, you can do that too. And that's it. Everything I use tonight, I'm going to link in the description box when I log off here. And that is it. I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you for spending your Wednesday with me. It was fun. I really did miss these lives. See, look, now I want to do them every week again, but we'll figure it out. They're not gone forever. Um, and yeah, that's it. All right, guys, have a good night, and I will see you next time. Bye.